What's up, YouTube? It's Big Rye coming at you guys from somewhere really cold. I hope you enjoyed Wildcard Weekend. It wasn't the most memorable of Wildcard Weekends, unless you are a Detroit Lions fan, then it was very memorable. Uh, but we saw five home teams win, and the Packers upsetting the Cowboys in Dallas would have been a parlay breaker for a lot of betters. Last week, I went 3-3, three and three, picked up wins against Houston, Buffalo, and Green Bay, picked up losses with Miami, Detroit, and Philly. 3-3, three and three, 141, 131, and 6 for the season, 51.8%. On to the divisional round. Picks against the spread for the 23-24 NFL season. Let's start off with the Houston Texans at the Baltimore Ravens. Houston Texans, 10-8 and eight against the spread. 11-7 and seven straight up. The Houston Texans took care of business at home versus the Browns. C.J. Stroud was 16 for 21 for 274 yards and three touchdowns. Nico Collins played well, recording six catches for 96 yards. Two pick sixes in the third quarter really sealed their fate as Steven Nelson and Christian Harris were able to score two minutes apart. Houston is plus 28-68 to win the Super Bowl. They are going to be taking on the Baltimore Ravens, who are 11-6 and six against the spread. 13 and 4 straight up. The Ravens' last meaningful game was on New Year's Eve when they handily beat the Miami Dolphins at home 56 to 19. Lamar Jackson sat in their loss to the Steelers on January 6 after they had locked up the number one seed. And Baltimore is plus 286 to win the Super Bowl. The Ravens open this game, as you can see on the screen as nine and a half point favorites at home. At the sharp book I look at, the line hasn't changed, but there was some fluctuation in the juice as it moved from Texans plus nine and a half at minus 107. It went all the way up to minus 120. And as you can see now, Texans are actually down to minus 103. So for the contest, I will be taking the Ravens as nine and a half point favorites, but this market is pretty stagnant. It would take some sort of significant news to move it off of nine and a half, I believe. Either way, this is strictly a contest pick for me, and there isn't going to be a ton of value on either side of this spread. On to Green Bay at San Fran. Green Bay Packers 10-8 and eight against the spread. They are also 10-8 and eight straight up for the season. They have won four in a row and seven of their last nine. A lot of that is thanks to how well Jordan Love has played to finish the season, and Love managed to finish in the top 10 of NEA for any quarterbacks who played a significant amount of snaps for their team. Matt LaFleur continues to be one of the best coaches in the NFL, and Green Bay is plus 21.55 to win the Super Bowl as of now. They're going to be taking on the San Francisco 49ers, who are 9-8 and eight against the spread, 12-5 and five straight up. With the Niners getting the one seed in the NFC, they had wild card weekend off. They lost to the Ravens on Christmas Day. They beat the Commanders in Week 17. And then they fielded their backups in week 18 against the Rams. San Fran is currently the favorite to win the Super Bowl at plus 175. The line for this game opens San Fran minus 9.5, minus 113, and Green Bay plus 9.5 at even. Those juices have flipped, but the line has also moved up to 10. So it currently sits San Fran minus 10. Uh, sorry, it currently sits... At San Fran, minus 10 at even, and Green Bay, plus 10 at minus 113. At the current line of 10, I like the Packers in the contest. 10 seems like the right number for this game. I really doubt it moves to 10.5, but I could see it moving back to 9.5 with bad juice. So for the contest, I will be on the Packers, plus 10. On to Sunday's matchups. We're going to start off with Tampa Bay at Detroit. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 12 and 6 against the spread for the season, 10 and 8 straight up, including their playoff win. The Bucs, they won the NFC South. They upset the Philadelphia Eagles, who were the betting favorites on the road. They now get to travel to Detroit to take on the Lions, and the Bucs are playing with house money. Any more wins would be gravy for them. Todd Bowles worked his magic again as a playoff performing coach over the past few seasons. Tampa Bay is plus 22-41 to win the Super Bowl. Detroit Lions are 12-6 against the spread as well, but they are 13-5 straight up. They've got three more wins than their counterparts in Tampa Bay. 
It was close, but the Lions managed to win their first playoff game in over 30 years. It was quite the exciting game. Dan Campbell, Jared Goff, and the rest of the Lions did just enough to squeak out a win at home over Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams. The Lions are coming into this matchup as decent favorites, and the line has also moved in their favor since opening. As for Super Bowl odds, the Lions are currently sitting at plus 939, better than 10% to win the Super Bowl. The spread opened at six with Tampa Bay having juice of minus 108 and the Lions having a juice of minus 104. Since then, the line has moved to Detroit minus six and a half at minus 102 and Tampa plus six and a half at minus 110. At the price of six and a half for the contest, I will be taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I am all in on the Lions winning this game and taking it one step closer to a Super Bowl. Contest pick is Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at plus six and a half. Kansas City Chiefs at the Buffalo Bills. Patrick Mahomes at Josh Allen. Five-star entertainment game of the week. In recent history, is this the best rivalry in the NFL? I think so. We get to see Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and possibly their primes. It kind of reminds me of the old Brady, Peyton Manning matchups. And yes, I'm talking about Peyton. Uh, the Chiefs were 10 and 8 against the spread this season. They're currently 12 and 6 with their playoff win straight up. In the cold weather, they really dominated the Dolphins, who played the Jekyll and Hyde role in the NFL this season, playing good against the bad teams and playing bad against the good teams. And this unfortunately trickled into the playoffs for the Dolphins. But either way, the Chiefs got it done at home versus Miami. Kansas City is currently sitting plus 663. To win the Super Bowl. The Buffalo Bills were 8-9 against the spread and 12-6 and straight up. They won the turnover battle and controlled the time of possession in their win over the Steelers, who were without TJ Watt. They now look ahead to the Chiefs, who have had their number in the postseason. I'm sure the Bills are looking forward to playing this game on their home turf to advance, to possibly advance to the conference championship. The Bills to win the Super Bowl are currently plus. 534. The line for this game opened and is still sitting at Buffalo minus two and a half at minus 115. It's fluctuated a bit here and there, but currently it sits at the same price that it opened at. For the contest, I will be taking the Buffalo Bills. Despite their slow start and their poor ATS record, I still do think they are the better team, and I believe this line will push up to three as we move closer to close. Contest pick for me is Buffalo minus two and a half. So on to the very, very quick lightning round. Saturday's games, Houston at Baltimore, Baltimore minus nine and a half. Green Bay at San Fran, I've got Green Bay plus 10. Tampa Bay at Detroit, I've got Tampa Bay covering the spread at plus six and a half with Detroit winning that game. And then for Kansas City at Buffalo, I have Buffalo winning outright by three or more points at that two and a half point spread. The 2023-2024 wild card picks against the spread leaders were High Roller, as well as Jimmy G and the Super Friends, both going 5-1, good for 83%. You can see Mickey and Playoffs, Playoffs at 4-2, and two, and then Big Ryan the Fat Guy ourselves, Laser Jets, not Carnival Personnel, Cash Only, No Checks, as well as Setuple all at 3-3, three and, three, and then Snake Bitten. Uh, got that lucky number 10 spot there, even going 2-4. and four. And then the JS715 name of the week feels like Canada here. Well, it sure feels like Canada here as well. Uh, even though I am in Canada, it feels more like Canada than Canada usually feels. And remember, guys, make your picks against the spread for the NFL Divisional Round at BigRye and TheFatGuy.com. Good luck with your picks in the Divisional Round. Thank you for watching and stay warm.